Hello, Soul Tribe friends and family. I'm here for a collective reading. It is general and it's timeless. This is going to be for all signs. You could be any zodiac sign. It's a collective reading. Just take a resonates, leave what doesn't for the next person. If you would like a personal reading, a one on one personal session, or an Akashic Record session, check out the box below. It has my website, 144bluerosetemple.com, and it has my email. Thank you for all of your love and support. If my energy or my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. Now, you guys already know I don't do readings too often at night, but when I'm getting like a very strong channel, um, I'll do a reading just so I don't lose it. And there's a big message when it comes to the karmics in your life. It's like God is watching the karmics in your life and the karmics are testing the waters. That's what I'm seeing is that there's people in your life that are testing the waters when it comes to you. Now, these people, they know who you are. And that's why it's like your ancestors. I'm hearing specifically 111 as soon as I say that. God and your ancestors are watching these karmic people test the waters in your life because these people know who you are. Like they, they know you. They have some sort of connection and relationship to you. They know that you're spiritual. They know you're on your path. They know that you do what you do. You know, whatever it is. And they are testing the waters still. And that's the scenario or a situation that I'm seeing very specifically where they know who you are. They know you're not someone to be messed with and do not test the waters with the collective. Um, and they're testing the waters anyway. So we're going to see what this is for you collective. And it's a very big message of like these karmics doing things that they know they shouldn't be doing. Or it's like maybe they're, st you know, going behind your back in some way, shape or form. And they just don't think that it's going to get back to you. Like, and that's the energy where like they know that you're connected spiritually. They know that you're chosen. They know you're on your path, whatever it is. And so it's like, why are you doing that? If you know the collective is just going to find out anyway, or you know it's not going to work against the collective, like it's that kind of energy where your ancestors and God are just looking at this person or these karmics like, why are you even doing that? It's almost like an energy of watching children. And like, you know, when a child like knows they're not supposed to do something and like they'll stare at you as they're about to touch it. It's that kind of energy. Divine mother and father. Yeah. Okay. The collective. You have the lady of the mirror. Reflection, non-judgment. Okay. I see what's going on here, collective. Integrity, compromise, fairness, and balance. Material wealth, true prosperity is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so great things are coming in for your collective. Reflection and non-judgment. Integrity, compromise, fairness, and balance. You are someone who people come across you for a reason. People come across you for a reason. Okay, you are someone who brings the balance. You bring the divine truth. You bring the balance. And in this scenario, it's almost like these people, the, or the karmics, they know this, but it's almost like they kind of still want to test it out a little bit. And like, why are you testing that out? Let's not put this to a test. But I get that you act as a mirror for others. This comes out a lot in the readings. Like you give a truthful, you know, an universal truth reflection. And there's no judgment with it to bring things to a balance. And so you'll appear in people's lives, right, that have karmic cycles to go through. And you'll be there almost as like a guide along their way, whether they know it or not. Okay, and there's a little bit of energy here where this person can maybe feel like you're controlling a little bit. And it's 44 and 44 as soon as I say that. So you could be saying 444 or a confirmation. You're actually not controlling. You are gifted. You are chosen. 
and you show up in people's lives as a keeper you are the keeper of the scales you have a keeper of the scales okay you hold these scales and you'll so you'll hold that reflection with no judgment but not everyone likes that you have integrity and compromise over here like you kind of questions people's integrity a little bit uh you show up in people's lives and again like it's the lady of the mirror so the lady or man or they of the mirror you hold up a divine mirror so anything that is not illuminated anything that is out of balance you're just holding up the mirror of non-judgment back to the person okay um and i feel like when it comes to these karmics in your life too um you not only do you play this role right for these karmic energies not all of them necessarily like it, you know, and they don't have to like you, but they're going to respect you. Okay, so when it comes, yeah, when it comes to this particular reading, I'm getting that the a, a karmic energy or karmix in your life. They were trying to get away with something. Like they were really trying to like just test the waters out. And I get more like playing with fire kind of energy than testing out water. It's more like they're playing with fire. Okay. Um, and so you are giving them a reflection here. There's too many cards, so I won't take it. We did get uh, returning home, transition, life between lifetimes, and loving welcome. Okay. Uh, and it's also 44 there too. So 444 four, four is definitely a number that you might be seeing. You also could be 44 years old. Hmm. Also, for some of you, you appear in people's lives when they are transitioning, the crystal path. You appear on people's paths when they are transitioning. That's a lot of Osiris energy there. Um. For some of you, I get like, and it's not death doula. I'm getting more of like the spiritual process of death. Okay, and as soon as I get a message. You help people. Oh, this is so interesting, collective. You have the scales, you also have returning home, and I mentioned Osiris. I get a lot of the underworld energy. You help people, like, through the underworld. Like, you help people see their own unconscious and subconscious. And that is the energy of the keeper of the scales. That is returning home. So you appear in people's lives when they are going through a death and rebirth. You assist them through these life and death portals. Okay, you are the crossroads. You are. When people are ready to cross the road, you appear in their life. Okay? And with no judgment. It's just like pure truth, okay? Um, a lot of mat energy... I did mention Osiris, so Osiris energy, Anubis energy. I just get all of like the underworld type of energy, okay? Um, but this is how you appear to other people. Uh, some people mock this about you. They're like, oh yeah, the collective and this and that. But like, fuck around and find out, okay? Uh, and I do get, I do feel like there's a karmic or karmics that are kind of playing with fire a little bit and fucking around and finding out, you know? Um, so let's see what this is. Why Keeper of the Scales, Lady of the Mirror, and the Wise Woman of Wonderland? I get that some people feel like you're no fun. And not that you're no fun, but it's like some people feel like you judge. Like some people feel like you judge. Like, oh, look at the collective talking about me or doing this or they're saying this, this, and that. Yeah, you have forgive here. Kindness and nurturing and forgive. Um... You're not judging. You're simply reflecting back the truth to these people. And it's it's having the compassion that it is it can be hard to hear the truth, 
about other people or about yourself. This is definitely a lot of high priestess energy. Okay, you have memory and Lumeria, kindness and nurturing, forgive. Okay, so there is definitely forgiveness that is necessary in this connection when it comes to these karmic energies. Always forgive the karmic energies. They know not what they do. Forgive yourself, okay? Uh, and kindness and nurturing. I do feel like you're kind of experiencing right now maybe some, I don't know why I hear retaliation. Retaliation or... Um, some sort of projection from karmics, that's okay. Hopono, hopono, kindness and nurturing moving forward. Okay, let's see what this is for you, collective. We're 10 minutes in. Why returning home, keeper of the scales, non judgment, and the wise woman of Wonderland? Why temptation? There is a karmic energy here. You have temptation, page of pentacles, you have the ten of swords. We're going to clarify each one. Why temptation? Why page of pentacles? You want to know why it's collective there was someone here that was being sneaky and trying to get away with something and you like called them out why the ten of swords here you called them out why the seven of pentacles with the ten of swords what is this other energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It could you could have called out a Taurus Virgo Capricorn? Why the why the King of Pentacles? Ten of Wands in reverse. What's the collective energy in this reading? You have Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay, very clearly went into reverse. You're getting out of your head over here. There is a need definitely to be out of the mind space. Why the Nine of Swords in reverse for the collective? You're gaining clarity about a situation, okay? Um, you have the Queen of Pentacles over here, so you're gaining clarity about this karmic situation. Someone was hiding something here. Someone was sneaky about something. I'm getting the energy of stealing in a sense. And it doesn't have to be like stealing, stealing, like actually stealing something. But some sort of energy where just someone was taking something that was not theirs. Why the temptation with seven of swords? Power in reverse. Okay, this karmic energy. This karmic energy is showing up as Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're showing up. You're also showing up though as Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in uh feminine energy there's a masculine energy towards Virgo Capricorn but it is that type of energy where it's like someone was trying to kind of like take something from you or you caught someone doing something where it's like this is not their power they weren't doing something from their power alone they could have been siphoning someone else's energy or I get the energy of like a karmic energy that like say is posing as divine, right? Or, or whatever it is, um, which everyone is divine. But like the energy where someone is not, it's not coming from their power, okay? And this could be a succubus energy because they need to take other people's power and stuff like that and energy in order to provide anything, okay? With the temptation and power in reverse, this person is an energy vampire. They do not have their own power. They need other people to fuel them. Whatever they do, it doesn't come from them. It comes from other sources, not from them. Okay, why the Five of Swords with Page of Pentacles? Fortune. Uh, this person, though, it feels like they were more in it for money. Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Fortune. Okay, this person would go to any extent to succeed. They just want to succeed. Um, 
yeah, two of cups. This could have to do with multiple people, you know, or it's like this person will do whatever it takes to seem presentable to the public, okay, um, to people. I feel like they lie about their energy, about their power. And it's not that this person is not powerful. So even when it comes to karmic, so we do have the card forgive. When it comes to karmic energies, or at least when I talk about karmic energies, they are all of these things, but they're just not cultivating it for themselves. So that's why it's karmic, because it's not actually coming, that they them, not from their own source. Um, this person, though, really does value money. And how they look to other people. Why the Ten of Swords with the Seven of um, Pentacles, Four of Cups? This person doesn't know patience. Page of Wands with the movement card. Movement, as I'm saying, patience, right? Um, this person is still learning patience. I feel like this is a karmic energy that is rushing. Two of swords. All right. Can we creating blockages for themselves or like these blockages? There are certain things that are blocked for a reason. That's what's coming through. There's certain things that are blocked for a reason. And with this karmic energy, I get the energy of like just, and then eight of coins. Yeah, it could be in the workplace or in general. Like they want to look a particular way or be viewed a particular way or or achieve something but that takes time and there are levels and and lessons and not that there's any levels no one is above or below anyone but i feel like this karmic energy is skipping certain lessons and that's why it's karmic where it's like they want to like look or feel a particular way but it's like there's still certain things to go through why the two of swords yeah and the thing is it's like it's for your protection okay so before i keep talking what is the karmic energy towards the collective Mm. this is interesting they love you they love you <laughs> this karmic fucking loves you <laughs> like it it literally is that funny you have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles this karmic loves you this karmic sees you as everything it's like everything that they would want to be and the reason why this is karmic is because they're not going through their all through their lessons and what they have to go through. Like whatever it took for you to acquire what you have, you had to die. Like you had to like go through deaths and rebirths. And I mentioned underworld and everything here in the beginning, right? You've been through initiations to be where you are. You can't skip steps. You can't skip the cycles and the lessons. You can't skip that. That has made you who you are. Your, your power source, it comes from the wisdom, from the lessons it is that you have learned. And there's a karmic energy here that they love you and they admire the heck out of you. But they're skipping steps. And when we have the card of non-reflection, like of, of reflection and non-judgment, because even when I say that, that's no judgment. There's just certain things to go through, to learn. Everything happens in divine timing and for a reason. This person is chasing things without of them. And the thing is, this karmic energy, we have kindness and nurturing and forgive here. Because honestly, this karmic energy has so much potential. I'm never someone who wants to like fall into separation with tarot readings. The truth is the truth, but like this karmic energy, they have potential. 
but they're chasing the wrong things at this time. It's like how I'm viewed, money, this, that, which is, yes, a part of your dream life. Yes, that is a part of your dream life. That is your birthright. But it's also the soul lessons and the soul work that you cannot skip to attain that. And so it's like this karmic energy is wanting to speed in things up for themselves, is wanting to appear a certain way, and they know who you are. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. They, this karmic energy loves you, okay? This is not a karmic energy that's like, oh my God, I can't stand the collective. They love you. But what they do need to know is like whatever you have, you did not skip steps and you worked hard for it. You've been through your deaths and rebirths and not just one, many of them. And that's why you receive what you receive. So it feels like it's like this karmic energy is trying to walk in your footsteps. This karmic energy is, is following a path it is that, that you're on. But again, just like rushing it and not realizing all of the work it is that you've put in. I feel like they do attain things. It's like, oh, I got it. I manifested it. But then they lose it quickly. And that's because <laughs> you can manifest something and, and get it quickly. But it's about the foundation. You spent maybe years building your own foundation. And, and it's about the foundation. Okay, two of swords with the seven of wands. Why the ten of pentacles? Ouch. Why the Ten of Pentacles? For how the karmic views the collective. They see you as highly favored. This karmic loves you. Okay? Have some more compassion and kindness for this karmic. Because this karmic loves you. They see you as highly favored. Judgment with the Six of Pentacles. They feel like whatever you want, you get. That's how this karmic feels about you. So this karmic looks up to you. And I wouldn't necessarily say that they're copying you. I do feel like they copy you in some ways. I feel like they are very similar to you. They find inspiration in you. They admire you. They find inspiration in you. And that part is a beautiful thing. Like we don't have to say that everyone's always copying us. They find inspiration in you. In you, they see parts of themselves. That's a beautiful thing. However, with some of what they're doing, not all of it is coming from them. Some of that stuff, maybe they're taking it from you, they're taking it from there, they're taking it from here. So there's still not, com not everything that comes from them is all from them. And that's what makes it karmic. Um, they are siphoning your energy a little bit. Again, this is not a karmic that is doing this intentionally. This person really admires you and, and sees you as inspirational, as magical, as divine, as highly favored. Like, they would watch you like, I, I want to be like the collective. Like, that's how this person feels about you. And they actually have some other fucking potential. They do. But they're going too fast and they're skipping steps and not all of their intentions are completely pure at this time. It's like there's still things for them to do. There's still initiations for them to go through. Uh, and I say that because we started off with talking about the underworld and Anubis and, and initiation and things like that. And then there's this, okay? So... Yeah, two of wands. Um, all right, what is, where's the collective energy in this reading? What, what about us collective? Where's the collective energy? You're contemplating at this time. It's like, what do I do? Uh, why contemplation with the Knight of Cups? Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are holding on to something at this time. Could be holding your tongue, holding on, 
not fully moving forward with something, contemplating, do I do this or do I not? Okay, so you have the Queen of Swords for contemplation. I really do feel like some of you are like, do I actually say something to this person? Do I say something? Do I set boundaries? Okay, why the Four of Pentacles here? Why the Knight of Cups here? Four of Wands. Feels like you're moving forward, though. Into your own celebration, okay? I feel like you're actually not going to say anything to them. You have the World card with the Four of Pentacles. You're just going to protect your own peace and observe this, but you're actually, you may not even say anything to them. Some of you may, you know, but I see a lot of you contemplating, do I say anything? And like, yeah, is it worth it? Let me just go celebrate, you know, because you have good things going on in your own life, you know, and is it really worth it? Yeah, Five of Wands, is it worth it? No. Let, let them be. This is an energy where, like, this karmic energy is copying you in a sense, but we can see it for what it actually is. So kindness and nurturing and have forgiveness. Uh, what's the advice for the collective here? Ace of Pentacles. Go get your coins, okay? Go get your coin, your opportunity, this offer. Things are coming in for you, all right? Um, it's a very abundant time, and people are noticing it, especially this karmic energy, okay? That's what I have for you. I hope that this resonates. Again, if you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or anything else, check out the box below. A lot of cards. Define mother and father. Yeah, you have patience over here. And that's a general theme in this reading, is having patience, okay? Uh, faith of a mustard seed is also what I'm hearing. What else do we have for the at this time what's another express your love ecstasy dance okay some of you may be dancing um going to a retreat that has dancing too because it said retreat okay um shakti does they move on as well express your love and static dance Connect with music, connect with dance, and move your body. That's also what's coming through. What do we have on the situation with this karmic? Self-sabotage and poverty consciousness. I feel like, you know, when it comes to this person, they're in lack. Okay, and so that's why it's like they, they their power doesn't like completely come from them. Okay, you have preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual, altar priestess. Um, there could be a need to really connect with your altar at this time, to really connect with ritual and prayer and ceremony. Okay, protect your energy as well. Yeah, you have aggression. You also have false promises. And uh, it's the fire prince, okay? Two princes, okay? So that is like a page type of energy. False promises and aggression. Be mindful of these like karmic or page energies in your life. Um, yeah, it feels like false promises, you know. Um, and just a very young and mature energy, okay? That's what I have for you. I hope this resonates. I'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings to your day.